What's going on guys? Taco here with the Cedar Homestead. And I figured I'd come out here for a little while and do a little update on the farm out here with all the animals. Everybody's doing good. Show you the how much these IPPs have grown. We got some separate pens. We put our Cooney Coonies in. We moved some of our Cooney Coonies over to the new pen where the Kikos are. And we've shut down some pens for the grass to grow. So I'm gonna walk around, turn the camera around and just kind of show you all some things. So here we go. All right, so we had the, we had to move Maggie's litter. We had to split them up because we kept a boar and we kept a gilt. We bought another gilt, which is the red one right there, or orange. So they're gonna be our next line of sows whenever they get, whenever they get old enough to be open gilts, they're gonna be our next breeders. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I love, we've put a video up before, but these Kenko fences, these solar powered fences right here, they're a game changer. A big game changer because they're easy to move. I mean, we can pick up and move. Uh, they're real mobile. We don't have to do a lot of hassle to get these things going and the pigs already know that they don't need to touch it. It's a good barrier. Plus it'll keep the boars away from these young gilts. So they're growing nicely, as you can tell. They're, they're gonna size up quite nicely um, to be our next breeders. Like the one, that's, that's Maggie's um, right here. And then we bought this one on the right. So that we have that pen going until we move them again. The grass seems to be it's starting to grow now. As you can tell, it's starting to turn green. Um, so we got them in there. And then over here on the next one, I got a smaller paddock, you could say, of another smaller fence. I think this one is 24 inches. It works just the same. I got the big one for the dogs because we have a dog that likes to jump our, our, our panels over here. So at the time, I didn't know I needed to get it five foot. Those aren't as quite as tall as the ones we put up on the other side of the pasture. So we use this for the pigs too, and it works well. I mean, they, they, even with the smaller Energizer, they still won't test it. Once they get hit once with the one, because I think that one's five, this one's five joules, and that one over there is 15 joules. So now that they've tested that one over there and got struck, or struck, got hit by it because they got too close to it, tried to get out, they won't even, they won't even try to test this one because of the fact they think it's the same power. But this right here is uh, crispy bacon. He's our Cooney Cooney. And we got Petunia. She um, she came into heat, and so we put them, keep them together because we want them to breed. And hopefully we have a good size litter with her. I am almost positive I saw him a couple of nights ago um, trying to get on her. So she's gonna be bred. So we'll have us a litter of Cooney Coonies. I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping soon. Um, I think it, I think the ratio goes uh, three months, three weeks, and three days. So let's hope in three months, and three weeks, and three days, we have us a little litter of Cooney Coonies. Um, we shut the that farrowing pen down over there. I'm gonna do some work back there for that one, and we also use that pen back there for our pigs that we're wanting to use for meat to fatten them up. It worked well. It keeps them in. Shelter's perfect. This is where we had pork chop and Peppa the pig and her daughter, another sow or another gilt. This is where we keep the other animal. We keep him inside the house most times, trying to let him out because he, he's feral. He goes wild if you let him out too long. But he does a good job too. But I'll show you the pigs over there on the other side. All right, so as, as I was saying, this is our multi-purpose pen. We use this pretty much for everything. Whenever the grass gets down, we'll move the pigs out and we'll put the dogs in, let the grass grow back. And uh, we also use this for our kennel, for our dogs. Hey, Daisy, this is Daisy, our curly-haired Great Pyrenees. She had a litter. She had a litter of six 
and I knew that she was due about they just now opened about 14 15 days ago and uh, went inside you know busy inside doing stuff come back out and she started having them over here in a hole and one of them didn't make it but we got five and they're they're real healthy hey there yeah And she's got good markings too. So as y'all know, we we breed our our Pyrenees. Uh, we keep we have three females and one male. Clooney, we got Clooney, Daisy, Queen, and Bella. So we use the dogs as uh, money. We sell the dogs so we can have money for feed. Plus, it helps out on the farm with the income. And also, we can have the dogs out here, and we move them from the mom after they wean, and we'll introduce them to the pigs and the goats. That way, they're already ready to go whenever we list them for sale. People will ask, well, are they good with animals? Well, yeah, because they actually were born around animals. They can hear the sound of animals since they were born, and then we, we move them into a pen with, you know, the pigs or something. And with the chickens to train them not to to jump on them and attack them and stuff so um, it makes it a little bit easier for the people that want to buy the pups knowing that they can come from a healthy lifestyle um, we're not we're not out here we're not out here you know with a, a breeding operation of dogs just trying to make a ton of money off of them <clears throat> but we do it because like I said, it's a it's a plus for the income. That's about it over here on this side. I'll show you some of the pigs that we were talking about. <clears throat> All right, here's our our Maggie Sal. She's the one that had the litter. She's doing well. I'm hoping that she she comes into season if she hasn't already been in the season. Um, so Rusty could uh, breed with her, but uh, she should be next. So there's. That's our mature sow, Maggie. And then we got Mr. Rusty here. He's our boar. He's sizing up to be a, a nice little boar. And there's our Hereford. I haven't named her yet. We didn't think we were gonna keep her. And then we ended up keeping her. And I'm pretty sure that she's bred too with either Rusty or she's bred with the crispy bacon in the electric fence over there and our other boy that we're going to use for breathing for our IPPs is this one right here he is young he's not quite he's not quite there yet but he, he we kept him because of his size he was one of the bigger ones out of the litter he had all the qualities that we saw that we wanted in the IPP so we're going to give him a we're going to let him do a couple of rounds with yeah. Patty I think you're Patty. No, you're Pearl. So this is Pearl right here. Pearl is the, she is a younger gilt. She's an open gilt because she has already went into heat. So I'm hoping that Mr. Rusty has gotten to her. She'll make some healthy looking IPPs. And we're gonna breed him with her too. But when he comes of age, which should be about the same size as Rusty, He'll have to move to the other side of the pen because Maggie stays over here, and that's our son. Um, I don't know where Patty is. Patty is, she's not around. We're, I didn't give him a name either because he is a Cooney Cooney. I think he's over a year old. He came from Pork Chop. We're gonna eat him, so. He will be a, he will be a pork chop. And we got two more over here that are smaller. They were very young. Those are barrows. So we'll probably end up eating them too. I didn't name them. But <clears throat> what's up guys? So our pigs right now, they right they're just roaming on the pasture. We feed them we'll feed them once a day. And now that the grass is starting to grow, we have 
probably on this side over here, I say we had close to five yeah. acres. So they roam this five acres and eat, yeah. eat pretty much whatever they can find, which is grass, groves. I mean, they they love it out here. There she is. There's Patty. <clears throat> So also, I'm sure that Rusty has probably bred with her because they've been out together for the last probably month. She has uh, came into season, she's went in the heat too. So this year we should have Petunia, Pearl, Patty, Maggie, and Peppa. Five, five litters. I'd say by July, we'll have five litters of pigs out here. Cooney Coonies and high PPs. So if anybody's interested and would be interested in some of these pigs, the, the, the Idaho pasture pigs, they're registered. So we'll sell them as registered pigs. If y'all watch this video and you think you might want some Cooney Coonies or some Idaho pasture pigs, just give us a shout. We'd be more than happy to uh, put y'all on the list. We're trying to, we're growing a waiting list now. It's, never had a waiting list before but now that we're starting to get out there that we have these pigs people are interested in them so if y'all are interested in them and you want to be put on the list just give us a shout send us a message contact my wife we have a, a facebook page uh, casito homestead that's where most of the traffic comes through on that page so just give us a shout if you're interested all right so this is the other side we moved the house that we built last year for the dogs we moved over here temporarily for the goats because we're going to put a four poster barn down there here's old peppa mama we think she's pregnant this is um which i'm going to call her uh, patsy so we got patsy which is peppa's daughter and then here's here's pork chop so you can see Huh? Don't you bite me. Hey. Stop it. Stop trying to... Boy, you stink. What? What do you want? Hey, buddy. So I'm hoping that he did his thing over here with Peppa. Because he's a good size. And he, I didn't think he was going to turn out to be very big. But Cooney Coonies are just slower. And, um... Uh, he turned out to be a decent sized Cooney Cooney. He did what he was supposed to do. And uh, I'm happy with that. Amber did a pretty good job. She did this without me. Even though I know that it's, the goats aren't supposed to be on top of the hay. Uh, it's not exactly what it was intended for. It was there to keep the hay dry. Uh, but it kind of turned out to be a secondary shelter. So, I mean, as of right now, it's what's going to happen until we can get the pole barn built. So everybody enjoys it out here on this side. Uh, they have plenty of vegetation <clears throat> vegetation to eat. The trees over there give them shade. And then we feed them once a day and they get hay. All right, guys. Well, I gave y'all a very quick detour of the pasture quick since it's... Detour. Right? Detour is like you went off the tour. I did. If, if I'd have gave y'all the tour, it would have took longer. So I gave you the detour. It was a, I bypassed all the other stuff I didn't need to do to, to go, anyway. Okay. I gave y'all a tour of the pasture real quickly. Like I said, we got possibly five litters that we should have this year of pigs. We have, we got uh, Maggie, Patty, Pearl, Peppa, Petunia, and possibly the Hereford. Who told you those names? How'd you do that? And also we have... He don't remember names. No, I do. Hey, you, you did that. How'd you do that? I just remember the Your name. daughter told you their names. <laughs> no, she didn't. No. And also the two new uh, gilts that we have, uh, Plum and Peaches. And plum? Yeah, Plum and Peaches. So we no, have... that would be Pebbles and Peaches. No, I named them Plum and Peaches. No, it's Peaches and Pebbles. Well. The spotted one is Pebbles. <laughs> I didn't know their names. I made them up. Really? Because mm -mm. the orange one actually is peaches. It's oh. on her registration paper. Okay. Well, peaches. Peaches and pebbles. And pebbles. Yeah. Awesome. So hopefully this year we'll have a litter of Hereford Cross Cooney Cooney IPPs. <laughs> we don't know who she bred with. And and then we'll have a, a 
hopefully we'll have three litters of IPPs, which mm -hmm. are registered, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. So if y'all are interested, hit us up, let us know. We'll put you on a list so we can get y'all some uh, information about these pigs. We have the paperwork and all that jive. And also there's some other things that we haven't even been able to put on. We got uh, some pretty cool video of the snow that I'd like to get so y'all can see. Yeah. Both of the chihuahuas are, are bred by my man and maestro Rocky. You know what I'm saying? Dude's a stud. He is big, it. big macho of a of yeah. a stud muffin yeah, guy. He, Rocky getting it done. He ain't but about the size of a baked potato, but he's a stud. You know what I'm saying? Spud? Not stud. a spud. <laughs> Not to be confused with a spud. He's yeah. a stud. Yeah, he's a stud. He, he did his job. So we'll Twice. have... Twice. Yeah, we'll have two... Within a week of each other. Yeah. They literally... He bred both of them <clears throat> a week apart. Yeah. So... Yeah. He's been doing his business for a solid two weeks, y'all. Yeah. Lucky dude. Lucky dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've done some more stuff inside, so I think y'all think I think y'all would be interested in seeing that. Some pretty cool stuff inside that I did. I'll I'll do like a little quick quick tour of that, show y'all some stuff that I that we kinda thought of ourselves. Looked at some pictures and you know, kinda modified it to our taste. Cool ideas, yep. Alright guys, so I'll wrap this video up. Y'all hanging out with us this long in the video. We uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a little quick update, <clears throat> and we'll uh, we appreciate y'all uh, for hanging out with us, for sticking with us this long. I think I've said it a billion times, but yeah. we really do appreciate it. Yeah, videos um, will start coming more. We just have a lot going on. Yeah, we got a lot on our plate. A lot going on right now. Yeah, a lot of things that will come to light eventually eventually we'll come to light that we'll share with y'all just not right now not it's not not the time but but just know we haven't forgotten about y'all and sharing things with y'all from out here we just yeah it's just been a lot going on yeah so anyway hard to put a camera on all of it yeah so we thank y'all for hanging out with us like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, sub subscribe. Sub 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 yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, the more, the better. We'd like to make it. We'd like to make it to a thousand. You know, yeah. that'd, that'd be pretty cool. Um, if we made it to a thousand. Put time on it by the end of summer. <laughs> I bet we could. It's picking up. It's picking up. But help us get there, guys. <clears throat> thousand subscribers. Yeah. Well, we haven't really. We hadn't really been about pushing subscribers. It's no, more been about the uh, experience sharing stuff, and sharing yeah. our stuff than it is about the subscribers. All right, guys. We'll catch y'all later. Look at the goats up there on it. Up there. Up. Looky there. Yep. Thank y'all. Peace out.